All right, everybody. I got to tell you, I am psyched. My buddy knows that I like watching the Halo game. I watch a lot of streaming, especially like uh, a guy that I talk with. His name is Jotta Jotta, S-T-I-J-O-T-A-J-O-T-A-S-T-I. Runs a nice, um, runs a really good stream. He does a lot of Halo, Infinite, and um, Call of Duty, the older one, and what's this newer one, Vanguard. Anyways, so my buddy came into my uh, work the other night, seeing I was kind of doing what I shouldn't be doing, but watching it on the computer, and uh, I've been starting to stream a little bit myself as far as playing that game. So, he's been getting into 3D printing. And I'm going to zoom in on what he did for me. He popped in last night and gave me this. He, he, he made this thing up. It took him, I don't know, a few days. I don't know how long it took him. But it's a solid resin Halo Master Chief. Did it all on a 3D printer. So what I'm going to do is we're going to talk about this a little bit. Zoom in on this. Show you what it looks like. And there's some clips that he did. Bear with him. It's his first stream. And just like my first stream, wasn't the best thing in the world. He did, but he did a good job explaining and showing some of the details. So I'm going to cut some clips in and give you some a little background, a little bit of information on how he went about making this piece. Now, he's going from 3D 4K. He's in the, in the process now of, I don't even know the name of the company but he's going up to the next version of a 6K, which is the newest thing that this, these uh, 3D printers are making, which is gonna give even more detail. But the detail on this is incredible. He does everything from printing with, I guess it's probably like a fiberglass resin, the way to the painting details. So you have, I guess the greenish color that kind of matches you can see where it's scuffed up a bit it's got some black scuffing there even the 117 I don't know if you can all see it I'll try to get you a closer look you can even see the 117 on there for Master Chief's number um, I, I was just really really psyched that he gave it to me it's just one of them things I can put up on the computer and it's it's another another little knickknack in the background but again like i said it, it's definitely takes talent to be able to do this stuff just that i throw in a little after look of a complete circle around it you can take a nice slow look at it very cool what's going on guys uh, thank you JP for giving me the spotlight to talk a little bit to all the viewers how the process was made here to build this one-of-a-kind Master Chief statue but first of all I gotta get a big shout out to any cubic um, they produce amazing machines um, I got the Mono X, which has been flawless. But again, it's not as easy to just throw something in there like resin and expect, you know, you got to do your homework and do all the good stuff, such as adding, as you see, adding, you know, breaking pieces and a little area here that I can put my 3D light in there. So I will show you guys also the finished piece as it comes out of the resin absolutely scrapers it's a very messy job this is my tray you're definitely going to need gloves you're definitely going to need paper towels cleaning solution and i'll take this piece right off and i'll show you exactly how it looks like when it's taken off again is our master chief just hanging and waiting to be taken out with the finished piece taken off the plate again it's not an easy task 
and as you see still full of resin and I'll be putting into hot water to release all the attachments that you see there's a lot of attachments so it's gonna take quite a bit of, of time in order for me to get a clean finished piece all right so let me get to work here's a rough look of master chief with all um, the attachments being taken off and I say we did a pretty good job again I had to use a couple little tools but make sure you get all your attachments while the print is still fresh again I can give you guys a closer look and it looks pretty damn good again he's still covered in resin and I like to take the attachments right after the print has been taken off the printer but as far as I can see he looks pretty good um, again not cured you can see a little bit of the detail already coming through especially on the legs so we're gonna get to the base and I'll get you guys to the other step of how our amazing Master Chief is made All right. here we are at the curing station which I'm curing the resin for about six minutes and then we're gonna put the stand next and again um, I realized that I was didn't wear a mask because of the video so my nose was kind of bothering me before so I apologize you guys for listening to my nose being that sensitive so I'm gonna give this guy a six minutes and then um, put my stand in and you guys will see the solution well you guys can see more or less what this is going and again the piece has been cured and let me get you guys uh, it's just gonna be a little short but you guys can see gently my phone tries to focus on the statue so this is what's going to be the product and JP this is what I have in mind for you oh boy and how about this let's go with our color yep so Big shout out to everybody that stay tuned and watch the process of making my statue here, Master Chief, with the stand and the light. I will have more in the future, hopefully. And once again, a big shout out to JP for giving me the spotlight to have you guys come along and see my process.